What's interesting about what you just said about them, poss- you know, it possibly the melatonin levels being um, elevated even, you know, two to three hours after waking up. Uh, you have previously said um, in another podcast, uh, you've talked about how melatonin actually can inhibit the secretion of insulin from the beta cells in the pancreas, the beta islet cells in the pancreas. And that would uh, obviously affect your glucose, blood glucose levels. Do you think, um, you know, avoiding eating food, even like waiting an hour or two before or after you wake up, uh, before you start to eat, would be something that would be helpful for, you know, regulating glucose levels? Yes, this uh, connection between melatonin and glucose is relatively new because in 2009, simultaneously four different papers came out from human genetic studies showing that um, people with diabetes or increased fasting blood glucose level have a polymorphism or mutation in the melatonin receptor gene. And that was really perplexing because until then, melatonin was supposed to have its function only on sleep. And people never thought that it can affect blood glucose. And then from 2009 till, say, 2015-16, there are a lot of studies that started to understand why melatonin affects blood glucose. And slowly, a much better picture is emerging. That is, melatonin, just like it makes our brain to sleep, it also makes our pancreas to sleep, uh, or islet cells to sleep. That means it uh, makes these insulin-producing cells less responsive to glucose so that they don't produce as much insulin as they should when we eat something that has carbohydrate 